Provocative and highly acclaimed ballet, Lucy Negro Redux, made its Knoxville debut Wednesday and will be performed again Thursday evening as part of the Big Ears Festival. The four-day arts and music event is being held across the city's signature downtown venues, including the Tennessee Theater, the Mill and Mine, and St. John's Episcopal Cathedral. Highlights include performances by Bela Fleck, Kim Kashkashian, and the Punch Brothers. Get weekend and day passes at BigEarsFestival.org. Knoxville native Ott Defoe turned his knowledge of East Tennessee's waterways into first place at the 2019 Bassmaster Classic. 50 top anglers and a record-breaking crowd of more than 150,000 fans descended into Knoxville for the three-day event. It ended Sunday with the crowning of Defoe as the Bassmaster Champion. Defoe's total catch weighed 49 pounds and 3 ounces, earning him the $300,000 top prize. Congratulations to Defoe for winning the Classic and to visit Knoxville for attracting the event to the city. The economic impact is estimated at more than $20 million for Knoxville. The city will host more top sporting events, this time on land, when the 2019 USA Cycling National Championships return June 27th through 30th. Indulge your senses as the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra and the Knoxville Museum of Art combine creative forces for unstaged vision. Explore the museum and experience art imagined as music with live performances, hors d'oeuvres, and a signature drink. The April 18th event culminates with a performance led by KSO music director Aram Demersion, surrounded by glass artist Richard Jolly's breathtaking cycle of life. Learn more at knoxvillesymphony.com. The Mox Car Minute. News for you.